Laser wall? That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. Just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your pol All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. Oh, crap! That hurt! That thing packs a punch. Rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a Burav. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. 
Huh? Intrusion. Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Can I right alert. Lockdown in progress. Robots around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called a candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. <laughs> Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily, but the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nutcases, metallic or otherwise.
sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Looks like there was a containment breach in the algae ah! shop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. Is the lunar a kind of lock? It'll open once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You eggheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Yes, I'll go find some canisters. Well, what do we have here? I've got one. ...where the first lunar cities are soon to be erected. Similar samples were also collected from Mars. The push for the colonization of the inner solar system is making great strides. By the very first lunar expedition, it was decided to preserve some of the samples, specifically... That batshit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, Comrade Major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be... There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh, don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. I was a bad girl and struck up another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? You monster. Do you like it, Sugar? I did my best. This is cool. Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. 
However, Nora's algorithms were still corrupted in a most hideous manner. That dirty son of a whore. The repair vendor is completely insane. He's got her saying all kinds of creepy sex shit and making goofy junk instead of decent weapons. And she kills people. Does that mean we'll have to go unarmed? Uh, anything's better than nothing, right? I'd rather take on a robot with a metal toilet brush than my bare hands. Where the hell is it? It's a weird song, but I like the girl's voice. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. I've got another one. Uh, done. I think it worked. 